Blog Talk Radio. Here at ACO Radio, American Communications Online, or any affiliated stations or websites are not responsible for what guests, hosts, or call-ins may say. All programming is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. J. Morris with T.J. Morris ET Radio and American Communications Online. Welcome aboard, all you ground troops spinning around smartly on the planet. Well, it's been a great year thus far. <laughs> as long as you didn't catch anything, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> if you did, God bless you. <laughs> hey, we're going to have some fun tonight. Uh, I've been doing this about eight years, but I'm a new a partner in crime, I guess you'd say. Uh, Suzanne Wyman Flynn has fired me up to do readings again, and that seems to be the popular thing with Blog Talk Radio. They really like us showing up and doing this, and people enjoy being a part of a radio show. So we hope you'll call in. We've got quite a few people here, but we will try to help people. Uh, it's all about being in service to others. So. I'm building uh, my psychic network again. I started the original psychic network. Uh, our call in is 347-945-7207 for psychic mini readings weekly to assist friends of TGMR CT Radio followers. So if you'd like a reading, I'd like you to go to our website. Well, it's on blogtalkradio.com forward slash TGMR CT Radio and hit the follow button, please, so I can see you and know that you are one of our regulars that likes to come and join us in our weekly shows I'm building here. And Susan Wyman Flynn is of Orange County, California. I'm of Santa Rosa in Florida, which is the Poon Handle. I'm in Gulf Breeze, which is right across the Three Mile Bridge from Pensacola. So that's got our names and our locations. And we're wanting to build a group that enjoys uh, working with us and hopefully coming to an annual meeting uh, when we can all be around each other again. Now, uh, this is under spirituality. If anybody's keeping up with how they find us and my big face, I've got long hair now. It's below my shoulders, but that grew fast. Sharing among friends with our mystics, oracles, psychics, sages, seers, and an occasional shaman. So welcome to our spiritual science community of the ACO Association. That's for Ascension Center Organization in the New Age, which is now the Ascension Age. And uh, I saw an email, and I emailed Suzanne and sent her the show, but I, I don't know what number, so I'm hoping she's here. Uh, we're doing it an hour later for you guys out there on the East Coast, so maybe it's a little easier after you've gotten in from work and all of that. Let me see. Hold time. Let me. Suzanne, I don't remember your number. Suzanne, is this 707? Is this Suzanne Wyman? No. No, that's <laughs> that one. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Oh. Suzanne texted me and said to, you know, pick up. You want her number? Oh, oh good. Okay, yeah, what's of her area code? I'm looking at a huge list here. I'll give it to you in a second. Let's, it is 
714. Let me look. Why isn't she on the board? Is the board too full? I don't see her. I only see you. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, well, let's see. I've got... I don't see her on the board. Uh, okay. Well, uh, is this Stan? What's your name? Can you hear me? Mine? Yeah, mine's yeah, Robert. Yeah, Robert. Oh, hi, Robert. You, okay. Yeah, okay, Robert. A, Thank you. About a month ago. You do what? I was your, you and I did a call about a month ago. I was your guest. <laughs> Are you Robert Butwin? I am. <laughs> well, you're the reason we got together. <laughs> yes. Wow, this is awesome. Well, thank you, Robert. You're with our ACO for sure. You'll always be because you put this little toddy tie together with her because I wasn't doing readings like I had been in the past. So welcome aboard. I'm excited. Now, uh, I don't see her on here yet, uh, but uh, folks, this is Robert Butwin. He's like our networking guy. I don't know what exactly he wants to be called. He's a famous entrepreneur that's Helped a lot of companies and a lot of human beings, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs. And uh, you live in California too, don't you, Robert? I do. I'm in Santa Rosa, California. Isn't that weird? I'm in Santa Rosa County, another one of those synchronicities that you're famous for. So uh, that's uh, helping us grow our community, I guess. Well, uh, I know that I can do some readings tonight, but are you going to help uh, co-host? Or what was your ideas tonight? She wanted you to come on board, and she's been talking to you or getting back involved. I'm I'm looking for her, but I do not see her here. I'm going to have to go through these numbers. Yeah. Let's see if she's text. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead, Robert. She sent me text back. It should be a 714 oh, number. 949. Oh, this Nine, is her, maybe. Okay, it's all on my phone. You found me. You, you found me. <laughs> <laughs> you found me. <laughs> oh, my God. Hallelujah. I got, Praise the Lord. I, I, I got in here a few minutes early. Robert, thank you for calling in. You were, like, right on the spot. You have created a great <laughs> connection between Teresa and I. Um, I have a, a, a cell phone, and then I have a landline, and my landline has a headset on it so I can – I can talk endlessly on a headset, but uh, when I have that cell phone to hold on, I get tired. But, Robert, thank what? you. You're welcome. <laughs> I was like, Robert, wait a minute. I didn't Robert, even recognize his like voice. It. I'm like, what are you doing on this night? What are you doing on this show? <laughs> do a question. You were Come tricking on. me. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. Robert, what do you want to do for your question? Let's do a reading for you. <sighs> Let's see the RV coming in. The RV coming <laughs> he in. wants a recreational vehicle. Do I get re- to do no, anything no, too? No, no, the reevaluation of currencies. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the, 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 the monetary system has changed. It's all going to go local, and people aren't going to be willing to take and put their money in some faraway destination. So I told people that. This year would be a year about restructuring, going back to foundation. So if you are going to take and work with currencies, the dollar is still going to be the strongest, most valuable commodity Yay. currency exchanges in. But we're going of to all the people, <laughs> but the people who live in America are going to invest yeah. local. Okay? Yay. So do you have a more specific Proud to be an American? <laughs> Do you have a more specific question on that, Robert? Well, there's supposedly going to be different currencies reevaluating, such as the dong, the dinar, the zim. Those are gone. Those are all gone. They're a tenth of the value. They're supposed to go way up in value. There's, there's no, the... no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, they're gonna they're gonna have a momentary thing of where they they get some get some traction and looks like they pick up but then it's going to drop out. The bottom is going to hit, and um, no, it's uh, uh, no. I don't. I don't see anything there. I just see it hitting zeros. In fact, I hit it. I see it yeah. hitting three zeros. 
That's what happened with a lot of our Bitcoin people because we used to do domains and use Bitcoins. But but my people that do this for the larger corporations and all the smaller ones said that that's a thing in the past because I was looking at it to see if I could hook it up, you know, for my affiliate programs or something. And they said, no, no, they wouldn't even do it for me. My people in India, they're like, no. Mm-hmm. That's history. <laughs> I'm like, really? Yeah. They had a lot of problems with that. Plus, there was some woman that came in. Y'all probably know the story how it took over the world, and then she disappeared. With anyway, we won't go there because that's just old story now. So yeah, we have to be mm-hmm. careful, but we know we can trust the United States of America. So that's where that is. But Robert, you you can do so many things with so many people. You know, you're multi talented, but I guess uh, are you going to you're going to keep up your business associates, right? Still do entrepreneur stuff? Oh yeah. You know, I mean, I wasn't going to invest okay. any more money. I've already invested it. You know, supposedly there's supposed to be some shift in the currencies. We'll see. It's we'll been going see. on for ten, eleven years. Okay. Oh, uh, well, you know, China's way up there, but I'm interested to see what's going to happen now that we've gone over globally to uh, the way they're doing us with the cell phones. And, you know, they're they're really watching us on what we do now. And all India and Africa and all those co- other countries are going to be with the satellites that uh, Elon Musk put up, you know, getting to the people. So that's the big push is to get everybody on cell phones. So I'd make sure that you stay in that business for a little while. Technology is where the money is right now. At least that's what I'm told. But I can look at the cards for you, Robert. You want me to pull a few cards because we got a lot of people waiting. Are you going to stay sure. with us? I can't All right. stay I'm too long. I've got some point. I just wanted to, you know, real quickly plug in. Thank you. Well, I Thank want you, you very much. Yes. I want you to, uh, yeah, come back from time to time because we talk about you a lot, don't we? We're always plugging we you. Do. Whether we mean we to or not, because it, this is her fourth in a series uh, with me. This is her fourth show. Suzanne, I counted them. So this oh, is our goodness. fourth week. We've actually made it. And, Robert, you put us together, so how about that? Okay, Robert, I'm going to do you an old-timey tarot because as you go up the food chain and out the so- soul, if you think, you know, if you believe like we have past lives and all that, uh, I still do old-fashioned tarot. Ooh, but I'm going to do a quickie for you, and then we'll get on with the show, folks. I know we've been visiting with Robert, but if it wasn't for Robert, he wouldn't have put us together, and I wouldn't be having tonight's show. So I'm all excited about Robert doing his networking. So, Robert, you'll always be close to my heart, so I hope you'll help us grow our spiritual science community. I've got for you that in the uh you've been a very helpful person in your past lives the way that I read and the tarot folks, Akashic Field or whatever, going into the next density in the fourth where we all sort of are digitized, I guess, sort of like the singularity, but we're all one in the same law of one. We have uh, that you've completed a family in the past. You're back in this reality in the now uh, actually, uh, it does look like you're about abundance, and uh, there's a woman in your life, apparently, in the now, so I'm not going to ask you if you're married, but that's what the cards say, so def- uh, at least there's a strong one. <laughs> you're definitely? With a strong lady, yes. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad the cards don't lie because it's really fun to use this. This is the way that the universe talks to me, folks. I've died a few times, and I still need to row. But uh, there's a jury still out on what that really means exactly, except the universe. Some people can just get it out of the ephemeris. Others do meditation, and we have prayer, send and receive. Now, the future, actually, I don't know what's going on with you and women, but it looks like that you're going to be stronger in the future, and so is the woman you're with, because uh, you guys come into a higher Level Now, I don't know if you've got a business partner in the future, but you could have a very strong other gentleman showing up in the cards. Now, your your spirituality is up with your abundance with the, the three and uh, the power of three universally. You know that. We do everything in three and pi, 3.14, whatever, for 2,500,000 5, billion trillion years. But uh, look to maybe this is where Suzanne is coming in because you have the high priestess 
in your future. That's a good card, right, Suzanne? Have you ever been called yeah. the high priestess? Yeah. Oh, you have. Spiritual.